everyone. My name is Oldis. I work at Microtik, and I will be presenting you some updates on wireless and LTE, mostly LTE. So <clears throat> let's begin. So um, the first is a, a f one of the biggest wireless updates that we have recently made is uh, NV2 improvements for the ARM-based uh, boards. If you have seen maybe on Microtik forum uh, topics that we have uh, had some issues lately and now finally we have uh, made a fix for that. So if you have a wireless ISP in your uh, in your ISP, you have uh, boards uh, based on ARM S60 and some newer LHGs and you're running NV2 wireless protocol, I would suggest uh, strongly to update to the newest routerless version 644.3, uh, I think now, and you will have a better, uh, st more stable speed of the NV2 protocol. And this is uh, for the wireless imp improvements and now for the LTE update. So before going more detailed on the LTE update, let's look at the full range of the LTE products that we have currently at the moment. As we already had a morning uh, presentation by Sergey, we have a new products available. So let's uh, take a quick look at our current existing products. So on the left, you will see the WAP LTE kit. It's the first uh, LTE board that we made. It can be a desktop stand. It can be also mounted on the wall, just like regular WAP. Just uh, this board has LTE module inside. And uh, we have, uh, on the right side, you have LTAP Mini. So uh, by the function, it's very similar to the WAP LTE. Just it has additional uh, GPS port, so you can uh, put it uh, in the car, bus, or train, and uh, do a tracking applications. Or maybe in some agriculture uh, environment, you can uh, monitor uh, how your trucks or your fleet is uh, moving around and gather some information. And uh, it also has uh, PoE functionalities, both of them, so you can uh, also use either a connection. So those are like small devices, so you, the all, all, both of them support uh, external antenna connectors because uh, built-in antennas are very tiny, up to 4 dBi gain, but if you require like higher uh, antenna gain or you, you want to connect, longer distance LTE link, you need to have an external antenna. So you can drill holes on that uh, both of the boards and have SMA connectors and can connect uh, LTE antennas. Also for the LTAP Mini, you can put an external GPS uh, antenna, which we recommend. But of course, if you don't like drilling and uh, making holes for the external, an external antennas, we have made uh, special products for directional like uh, CPEs. On the left you have S60 LTE, uh, so we h it's a directional LTE device with an antenna gain up to 10 dBi, so you can connect up to a few kilometers from the base station. Uh, you can be mounted outdoors, so, so you can get better signal from your LTE tower and you can get better speed as well. And uh, also this board has two Ethernet ports uh, and PoE out, so so it supports ATAF. So on the same uh, tower, you can put install additional maybe 5 gigahertz uplink or 2.4 gigahertz uplink or even a IP camera if it's supported by PoE voltage. And uh, if you live in more rural areas where the LTE signal is very poor and you want to have a uh, better signal and better speed, I would suggest to go for LSG LTE it's uh, the size is like regular LSG unit, a little bit more than a cent 30 centimeters in diameter, and it has very high directional gain antenna. And depending on the frequency range, it can go up to like 17 or 21 dBi. So if you have poor coverage or uh, the speed is not so good, I would suggest to use this uh, device, point to the tower that you wanted to connect, and you will be able to get better uh, co connection, as the uh, modem will use higher modulation rates, and uh, that improves the uh, signal. 
So uh, this is uh, one of the boards that Sergey has already presented, the big LTAP. We had previously have LTAP Mini. This is a big brother, big LTAP. So it has a multi-core CPU, powerful uh, CPU, and has a now gigabit Ethernet. So we are preparing for uh, faster modems already. And it has also like a LTAP Mini and WAP LT it has built in 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi with option to have external antennas. And uh, as uh, LTAP Mini and big LTAP has a GPS um, dedicated uh, chip in, in built in. So I can have a tracking option. <coughs> and the main part uh, why it is special, uh, this board has two slots for LTE modems. So you can have uh, two uh, LTE connections at the same time simultaneously. And uh, the applications could be multiple, starting from a uh, backup link uh, for a failover or, or maybe or using different operator, maybe in one area one operator works better, but sometimes you need uh, better speed you can get from other operator. Or if you are using uh, this product in bus or train, you are this uh, rotor with, together with this uh, vehicle moves around the country or moves to another country where roaming is uh, more expensive, then you can enable the second modem and have uh, better uh, rates for the speed. And of course, we have a, for one slot additional uh, SIM slots that you can switch. So it means you can theoretically have uh, three, th three uh, SIMs or three operators and have two of them at the same time running. So one you can switch. And of course, uh, one of the slots has a faster uh, USB support. One of the slots supports USB 3.0. So if you have some uh, mini PCIe mo module that supports this, you will also be able to utilize that. And of course, it has a big USB port in case you have some uh, USB stick or some USB dongle or some subsidized modem that you want to do, you can use that. And of course, uh, if you have seen that uh, unit outside, uh, we have it on the table. It has a lot of options for drilling and uh, mounting a SMA connectors, so you can have uh, external antennas already. Uh, one of the new modules we have a uh, R11 4G. It is uh, more designed uh, for 2.6, 3.5 uh, LTE uh, networks. Uh, 3.5 gigahertz networks are more uh, common in the uh, US, but also in Europe. A lot of operators are start using these uh, frequencies. Of course, those frequencies more for 5G, but uh, currently uh, there are a lot of equi equipment and uh, operators that use it for LTE. Not sure about the uh, France, but you know, no, not use not yet. So okay. So you can see the supported LTE band. So it's band 41, 42, and 43. And of course, uh, regular European uh, 3, 7, 20, and uh, 31. 31 band is uh, 450 megahertz range. It's like uh, some operators are still using that for 5 megahertz range for wide uh, range of coverage because those, I think, they're using the old NMT towers. And uh, one note is that this modem doesn't support 2 on 3G, so it's only for LTE. So if you have one of those bands and you want to use, you go ahead, but just a reminder, there's no fallback to the 3G on the 2G. And of course, since we introduced this module, we also made a kits, like product codes, if you can buy a bundle, like a WAP 4G kit or LTAP Mini 4G, it. So those are like marketing names so when you go to our webpage or when you go to for ordering on your uh, distributor. So what actually you get, you can see the product codes, what exactly is inside for LTAP Mini 4G kit will be LTAP Mini plus this mod module. Why well, I'm telling that? Because we have a lot of uh, uh, combinations and we have three modems. And sometimes you can get confused which module should I get. So here is a 
small table overview of our current three modules that we currently are offering. So we have a 4G module that we just previously shown. Then we have a LTE, regular international module that is used for Europe. And we have a US version LTE. So you can see a few that few bands are overlapping, but not all of them. So it is uh, wise that you first, before buying a specific module, that you check with your operator or check on some online resources which, which of the LTE bands are supported. So also, um, just a quick reminder that uh, of the naming, uh, because there are different for LTE, LTE US and 4G kits. So the difference is uh, that uh, for marketing name, for LTE, it means in LTE International Module, LTE US, it's US module, and 4G kit is a 4G mo modem inside. Just a reminder, because sometimes uh, clients think that LTE and uh, 4G is the same and buy 4G module, but actually they want the international module. So just uh, pay close, uh, close attention when, you, when you're ordering. We And uh, also we, we had the, like announcement of a new board audience, LTE. So uh, here's a quick uh, like recap of the first presentation we had. So it has two 5 gigahertz interfaces, uh, 4 by 4 MIMO and uh, 2 by 2 MIMO for 5 gigahertz. One uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless for also, and we'll have option for uh, LT category six module. So it means uh, category six, you'll get uh, a carrier aggregation for faster speeds. So since we, I talked with the cat uh, six module, so I give you some uh, small preview of what we'll have in a few months from now. We'll have a cat six LT module available it will be first category six uh, module from us. So the downlink will be up to 300 megabits per second. Uplink will be the same uh, 50 megabits as it's category six LTE. And it will use the same mini PCIe LT, uh, form factor. And it will be supported by all the current rotor boards that are using mini PCIe slot with uh, USB support. So if, if you're not familiar what is 300 megabits, so it's actually a carrier, carrier aggregation with two bands. So for one band, you can do 150, so two times it's 300 megabits. And uh, supported LT band list and combinations will be released in summer. So uh, since we are not uh, fully made certification for all that, but I can tell you that uh, bands could be like uh, almost double as a uh, current uh, international band. So it will be great module, module, I think. So another LTE related topic is our new uh, Intercell series. So uh, what is Intercell series uh, board? It's uh, first Microtik LTE uh, small cell base station product line. So what it's actually is like, uh, you can tell it as a big, uh, could be as a big base station, but actually it's a, s a small base station. So for at, be at the beginning, we'll start focusing on outdoor solutions and maybe later we'll look for uh, indoor solutions. The first product line is a 10 watt outdoor base station for LT band 38 and 39. So you can see the frequencies is 2.6 and 1.9. I know that uh, some of you are thinking uh, why such bands. Uh, this is uh, specific uh, for uh, Latin America market as a big demand for such product. But also some operators in Europe are using band 38. Uh, both of those bands are licensed bands, so you cannot use it without license. But if you are like operator, or you have close connection with operator and you want to exp expand uh, some uh, some more uh, uh, base stations, you can try to work with them. <coughs> so uh, on the features, uh, this current product has uh, 10 watts of uh, output power and two by two MIMO. 
and can support single carrier, dual carrier aggregation. So for CAT for six module, you can do that. You can see the combinations of the four products. You can see that we'll have a product band 38 plus 39 or band 38 plus 38. So you can get the aggregation also in the same band or just single band, band 38 or 39. You can see the picture, it uh, looks very tiny, but actually it's a lot bigger and weight a little bit more than 25 kilos. So it's uh, like a big base station. So also, um, uh, since uh, uh, that uh, band 38 and 39 is uh, a licensed band, but also not commonly used in Europe, for example, it's band 39, it's possible to enable a feature called band mapping, and using this feature, you can uh, do the band 38, 39 map to band 33, which is uh, available in Europe. So the same is for band 38. You can enable band mapping to band 41. Of course, band 41 is not uh, uh, supported in Europe, but it's like an option to see that uh, it's possible such feature. So the speeds and uh, features, you can see that uh, you can get up to download for 140 megabits per second, uh, 30 megabits upload, and you can have up to 96 active clients that are doing data transmit, or you can have 192 clients connected uh, which are like in power saving mode. And it will have a built-in EPC, uh, EPC core on the board, so you can have up to 256 clients supporting the same intercell. So it means you don't need to have a big network or big uh, EPC, so you can uh, act each intercell, can act as a, like a regular AP with the radius server built-in, if, if you are commonly working as a wireless ISP. And of course, it have, will have voice over LT and uh, LiPo support. And it will be powered by 48 volt DC. And, the most, and also, it will have SFP and gigabit Ethernet ports. So future plans of the Intercell, <coughs> we plan to create new uh, products. So if you have some uh, information that <coughs> maybe you own a license or you have a customers that uh, has a license and are looking for solutions or some bands or you're looking for products for unlicensed band spectrum based on LTE, you are welcome to connect with us and send us the requirements and for which market cities so we can like uh, do some research and maybe introduce such project product for you. But currently we are researching for CBRS band, it's band 42, 43, 48 more mostly for US and band 41 also mostly for US or some other markets and also looking for unlicensed spectrum maybe for 5 gigahertz unlicensed spectrum and of course uh, we are looking also making an indoor small products similar like to APs but also for indoor uh, those are more for operators but uh, also if somebody has an uh, customer and operator, you can all always uh, re reach us so we can like uh, make some cooperation. Thank you. <coughs>